What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and thank you for cooling with Jay as always. As y'all know, this is my 2021 Ducati V4S Street Fighter in the dark stuff colorway. Welcome to a September noon and it is cloudy today unfortunately, but we're still going to go for a ride. So in today's video guys, we're going to be going over and discussing why did I purchase the Turbogoni exhaust uh, slip-on uh, for my Street Fighter instead of like the Acura, the SE Project, the Austin Racing, all those different manufacturer exhaust. Um, so yeah, we'll be discussing why did I choose this guy over all the other competitors out there. And as always, guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, guys, to stay up to date on all the content that will be coming to my channel. Real quick, guys, we're going to go over a few of the mods, then we're going to get on the bike and then go for a ride. Um, for those of you who are new, all of them will be listed in the description down below, so you can check that out and see all the links to where I got all the parts from. Anyway, quick fire, Evil Tech radiator guards, biggest question I always get asked. These are ceramic coated, um, satin black. These guys, um, because of heat, obviously, um, I have the Wave, um, Zoma uh, turn signals. I have the Bonamichi levers. Um, I have the uh, notch. These are the Zoma notch um, reservoirs. I have the CNC racing um, screen protector on there. That so no scratches or swirl marks on my screen. And of course, y'all always know um, quad lock for my mount. As y'all know, use promo code Coolin with J at checkout to save and have a discount on that. Um, AEM um, gas cap because I wanted a red knob. It's coming different colors. Um, let's see. I one of my bar and mirrors came off, so I just took both off for now. Those are the Moto Gadget um, in view pace mirrors I have on there. I'll have a picture up below, um, and then so of course you can see those. I have them on order or the one on order, matter of fact. So that will be fixed. Um, coming down to the side, as y'all know, still everything um, ceramic coated, um, black as you can of course see, that's the catch between ceramic coated and powder coated. It's powder coated of course lasts longer and is, is, more, is more scratch resistant, but ceramic coated is better for heat. Um, also got the kickstand um, coated as well. Move back over to the other side. I also got the um, Ducati Performance uh, tank grips. I have the One Design tank pad. Of course, shout out to Lumimoto for the custom seat with the gel insert to replace out the foam. And of course, my social media handles on there. Um, I have, of course, the race cow. I have the Futurist Moto uh, tail tidy with the tug license plate. I haven't been pulled over yet for that. Um, we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Um, I have the AEM, of course, rear. Uh, nut and i also have the 520 conversion kit and of course on here i went down one tooth on the rear to have a bit of acceleration um, but you know it's not going to be a massive change and then of course i have the desmo world um, clutch cover with all titanium bits and of course the black uh wheel inside and then last but not least termigoni slip on exhaust um looks nice and Real quick. So the last thing I will say real quick before we go for a ride, um, so of course the Termagone comes with the um, with the up map and of course it comes with the sp uh, Sprint air filter as well included. Um, the, the process in which to put the up map on is funny enough, there's really not really a direction on it. Basically you just have to pop off the seat, you have to plug in the ECU in the back, you have to download the app to your phone. You have to then update the app. You have to then check out with the UpMap as if you're purchasing it. As, as you purchase it, it will queue out at zero, 
you then check out, then you download the map to your phone, <laughs> then you plug it back in to the bike, and then you down or you upload it, I guess you could say, to the bike with it in this mode, in the ignition mode. Um, then it'll do its process, you turn it off, turn it back on, and then you're done. So um, obviously that they didn't really explain that, so I had to figure it out on the fly, but yeah, that's how it's done. So you have to have your phone. Oh, and last but not least, I forgot, I have the Desmo World uh, frame plugs um, as well. Only thing left I can say, guys, is rear sets, obviously, um, and that's really the big thing I have left. Um, what do you guys think? What y'all's what y'all's opinion on my build so far? Um, and then for those of you who are curious, I think um, at see the bike was about 26 out the door. I want to say I'm about another 13 ish with with install, the, the 13 to 15 ish. So all in all, about 37, 38 thousand in total. Uh, yeah, I love every bit of it. Turned out exactly how I hoped it would be. And then, yeah, so let us go for a ride on my 2021 Ducati Street Fighter uh, V4S Dark Stealth. And let's discuss why did I purchase this exhaust. Let, let, let's get into it. All right. All right, let's go. So you're probably wondering, this looks a little bit different than the parking lot you were just at. Yeah, because the GoPro battery I had fully charged when I left but miraculously did not work so I have to go home get a new battery and come back out gotta love GoPro okay all right so why did I purchase this over the other exhaust well, first of it was I wanted a bike that had a up map, um, ideally on it this time. So basically I wanted a manufacturer that had an ECU uh, flash for the exhaust, which of course left me obviously the Acura and the Termin because those are the only two from the factory. Oh, hello. You feel it. You had it on and you feel it. the first question I'm going to get asked is, hey man, why did you get a full system exhaust? Well, that's easy. Um, they don't really look that good, to be honest, in my opinion. I mean, they all, especially with a naked bike, the pipe work is, I feel like, even more important because when you have the fairings, you can kind of hide it kind of underneath and around the fairings. You can kind of mask some of the pipe work, but it's like all these full exhaust systems were like, Let's figure out where we're gonna put the exit pipes and all the pipe work comes second. That's to me. When I look at like the SC and the uh, um, Austin and like all these other full exhaust systems, they just, they just, they don't look that nice to me. They just really don't. My personal opinion, they just don't look that nice. So I wanted something that, you know, was <laughs> looked attractive to some extent. I mean, I'm not saying it has to be you know, pristine and saying it has to be like, you know, this amazing looking bike, but I also just didn't want something that was just like an afterthought. So I don't, to be honest, I don't really like any full system at all. Like none of them out of the 15 or 20 out there that make them. I don't think I like any of them that much. So there's that part. Okay. So the next up from that would be, okay, since you don't want a full system, next up would be obviously a slip-on okay so in the slip-on category I, I don't think sc project looks that attractive to me or appealing so that's a no so no sc project uh so that left like austin racing and and i wanted something in black too that's another thing like i wanted a black coated of some sort exhaust and at the time 
you know, that's really the only one I really saw that I liked a lot was the Austin Racing. Like the Austin Racing, in my opinion, looks looks good. Like and it, and it, it's and it's um, symmetrical. That's the next thing for me. Like I personally like symmetrical looking exhaust. And for me, those other ones just aren't symmetrical. Like they either have one pipe on one side or they have one pipe on the other. But but neither but neither both. So for me So for me like that I, I needed that, you know what I'm saying? Like I needed something that was more symmetrical. Um I also wanted to have an ECU flash as well. So I wanted to have uh, an up map from the factory, which of course Acura and Tony do, and I wanted it to be black, which didn't leave me, you know, very many options. Um, so that's why for me, like, this was a no-brainer as far as this compared to the others. And, you know, for those of you who don't know, um, I had a Panigale V4 2018, and that bike had <laughs> the comp works of was loud. But I didn't want it to be I wanted it to be, you know, significant enough or, you know, had enough oomph to it where people are like, okay, you know, that's a that's a good, you know, that's a good sounding exhaust. So that's that's what I wanted ideally. So it brought me to this guy. Um and I love it. Like it's 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 just enough you know sound and tone where it's it's my money, but without spending what what's the new Acura like nine thousand dollars? I I just don't. Uh, for me, <laughs> I'm just like I don't I can't justify that value. And it's not about the money always, because everybody always goes to the everybody's go to is always oh you can't afford it. it has nothing to do with affordability. Like I I could afford it if I really wanted to go there. It's just. But do I need it though? And I think that's for that, that for me is the is the key. Is do I need a full system to accomplish what I want it? Really, is is nice look, a nice look, and a nice sound. You know, without 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 trying to be this guy at Cars and Coffees bragging about I spent a fifteen thousand dollar exhaust to then put around town like. <laughs> Y'all do realize I wouldn't win that conversation. <laughs> People already give me flack because I just like to cruise a lot and don't really like to, you know, go to track or nothing. So I'm definitely the one who can't justify, like, oh, yeah, you know, I, I like to commute to work and take some twisties here and there. And I spent 15 grand on an exhaust. They're going to be like, mm, OK. And I'd be curious, actually, to see what is the Fender Eliminator kit that goes with that, with that new Acura too. But I don't think you can even get it, obviously, for the Street Fighter. I think it's just for the Panigale, and I think it's only for the, for the updated model. I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. But yeah, man, like, I wanted something that was the best of both. So something was black to kind of keep that dark stealth thing that I'm going for, and also sound good and come with the up map. And it runs smooth. Like, here's the crazy part, guys, is I'd almost say it runs smoother than the, than the stock flash or the stock map. That's what's weird to me. That's what's strange, and I don't understand why, but that's the case. Let's see if they turn out. This is why when people say, why don't you go fast down these country roses for crap like that? Here's, here's kind of the punchline, too. My exhaust um, was like 2,800, and with install was like 30, I say hey, whatever, 35. I'm just, I know it was like five, 600 bucks to install, something like that. So let's just say 3,500. That's the starting price of the Acura slip-on before install. So I basically got the price of the Acura with install. 
I mean, just think about that. Just think about that real quick. So, I'm spending, so you think this exhaust isn't, it, so you think that Acura of five grand or even 3500 3, You think that is $800 more valuable of an exhaust? No, it, I could say yes, because of the uh, titanium, but you're gonna tell me there's a justifiable reason between a full system and a slip, and a slip on for two horsepower gain more? Yeah, no. That's why for me, at the end of the day, determining what's the best option overall for look, value, um, price, obviously the black coloring, um, that, all of that played a huge factor on my decision and lots on my bike today. So there you go, guys. That is why I went with the Termi slip-on exhaust for my 2021 Ducati B4S Street Fighter Dark Stealth. All right, guys, as always, thank you for calling with Jay. I appreciate all the support on my channel. As crazy enough, 2022 is coming to an end. It doesn't feel like it, but it is. And that's just wild to me. We're already in September already. It's wild. Crazy. Oh, still. Yeah, still got more channel. Still got more stuff coming, guys, to the channel. So please stay tuned. That's why you should hit that subscribe button, man. Like I said, that greatly helps my channel and please share it with your friends um if they're into street fighters and newbie riders on sport bikes and kind of want to see what that experience is because like i said man this is my second bike and i have knocked out another another year of riding haven't dropped it yet i'm just saying put it out there anyway guys as always thank you for cooling with jay and i'll see y'all in the next video